How's it going everyone? This is Astro here again, and welcome back to another Splatoon weapon analysis video. Today's video is going to be all about the 52 gal deco, so let's get started by taking a look at this weapon's typing, stats, and version history. So to start things off, the 52 gal deco, which I'll just refer to as the 52 deco, is a main shooter type weapon in Splatoon that can be purchased from the Ammo Knight store for a value of 4,500 coins once you have reached level 11. As for its stats, it shares the same stats as the vanilla 52 gal, having a range of 50, damage of 70, fire rates of 30, and a base damage of 52. Its main difference now lies within its weapon kit. So for its sub-weapon, the 52 deco receives the Seeker, which is a bomb that runs along the ground and locks onto the nearest enemy while leaving a trail of ink behind it, making it a good weapon to use for yourself and your teammates to reach the center of the map as quickly as possible. Its weakness is that the Seeker can be easily avoided by simply jumping over it, so you want to try your best to use it in such a way to catch your enemies off guard. As for its special weapon, the 52 Deco receives the Ink Strike, which has its uses in different game modes such as laying down some last second ink in Turf War, capturing the zone and splat zones, giving your teammates coverage on the tower and tower control, and popping the shield in Rainmaker. So overall, just like the vanilla 52 Gal, the 52 Deco is a high powered weapon that has a fast time to kill, and coupling it together with its weapon kit, you'll be able to slay your enemies as well as support your teammates by laying down pathways with the Seeker as well as controlling the map and applying pressure with the Ink Strike. As for its version history, the 52 Deco and its weapon kit got upgrades all around. So in the case of the 52 Deco, the only new change that was made was with the introduction of Special Depletion, where the weapon was placed in the Light category so you'll be losing as low as 40% of your special meter in the event you get splatted. As for the Seeker, in version 2.7, the painting width has been increased by about 38%, so you'll be able to paint the ground a little bit better as well as seek out your enemies, no pun intended. Next, the movement speed has been increased by about 3%, so your Seekers will reach the center of the map and your enemies a little bit faster. And finally, an issue was fixed where Seekers would not follow Krakens, so you'll be able to splat your enemies easier when their Kraken expires. As for the Ink Strike, you'll be able to move a little bit quicker after using the special, thanks to the decrease in character control when you have special duration up equipped on your gear. And you also get the reduction in fire time after selecting your target on your Wii U gamepad. As for recommended abilities to use on your gear, damage up is recommended to counter defense up users as well as help with fall off damage. Also, any of the ink efficiency abilities such as ink saver main, ink saver sub, or ink recovery up is recommended to retain as much ink as possible since the 52 deco consumes a lot of ink. So without further ado, let's take a look at the first gear build that I have for you in this video. So this first build is designed to manage the use of the Seeker. So we're going to begin by selecting our headgear, which will be in the form of either the Camo Mesh or the Paisley Bandana. The Camo Mesh uses Swim Speed Up for its main ability, and it features the Firefin brand, which highly favors Ink Saver Sub, whereas the Paisley Bandana uses Ink Saver Sub for its main ability, and it features the Krakon brand, which highly favors Swim Speed Up. As for our clothes, we can use the Part-Time Pirate or the White Tee. The Part-Time Pirate uses Damage Up for its main ability, and it features the Tentatec brand, which highly favors Ink Recovery Up, whereas the White Tee uses Ink Saver Sub for its main ability, and it features the Squid Force brand, which highly favors Damage Up. And finally, for our shoes, we're going to be using the Blue Moto Boots, which uses Ink Resistance Up for its main ability, and it features the Rockenberg brand, which highly favors run speed up. So overall, this build tries to play to the strengths of the Seeker, as you get good ink efficiency options on your headgear and clothes. 
If you decide to use the white tea, you can stack Ink Saver Sub as a way to retain as much ink as possible after using the Seeker. However, if you decide to use the Part-Time Pirate, you can use the Ink Recovery Up to refill your ink tank a little bit quicker to use more Seekers. The damage up on your clothes is there to give you coverage against defense up users as well as help with fall off damage. You also get good movement options in the form of swim speed and run speed on your headgear and shoes respectively, as a way to help you retreat or reposition yourself in the event that things get dicey, as well as circle strafe your enemies. And the ink resistance on your shoes will keep you mobile if you happen to be stuck in enemy ink. Up next, I have a battery build that can be used to charge the ink strike. So we're going to begin by selecting our headgear, which will be in the form of the white headband. It uses ink recovery up for its main ability, and it features the Squid Force brand, which highly favors damage up. As for our clothes, we're going to be using the Sunny Day T. It uses special charge up for its main ability, and it features the Crack On brand, which highly favors swim speed up. And finally, for our shoes, we can use either the Turquoise Kicks or the Blue Moto Boots. Both shoes feature the Rockenberg brand, which highly favors run speed up. However, for its main ability, the Turquoise Kicks uses special charge up, whereas the Blue Moto Boots uses ink resistance up. So one thing you probably noticed is that this build is similar to what I used in my analysis of the Wasabi Splatter Shot, and it works just as well with the 52 Deco. The stacks of special charge up on your clothes and shoes will allow you to charge your ink strike quicker, so that you can support your teammates as well as harass your enemies. The damage up on your headgear will help to counter defense up users as well as help with fall off damage. And the ink recovery up again on your headgear will help you refill your ink tank quicker after using the seeker. Finally, you get good movement options in the form of swim speed and run speed on your clothes and shoes respectively, as a way to help you either retreat or reposition yourself as well as circle strafe your enemies. Also, if you decide to go with the turquoise kicks, you do need to be aware of your positioning and movement when you're in your enemy ink. So if that's a concern for you, then the blue moto boots is another good option to use, as the ink resistance will keep you mobile if you happen to be stuck in enemy ink. But that is it for this video everybody, so I'd like to thank you all for watching my analysis on the 52 gal deco. I hope you found all of this information useful. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, as well as sound off your thoughts on this weapon in the comments section below. Also, if there's something that you think I forgot to mention in this presentation, feel free to include that in the comments as well, and subscribe for more videos in the future. But as I stated before, that's all I have for this video, so this is Astro blasting off, and as always, until next time, take care, stay fresh, and I hope you all have a great day.